2 april is wereldbewusmakingsdag vir autisme. En Michael Clark van Maan Creative kijkt vanochtend saam met ons om te gesels oor die animatiefilm Sam the Hedgehog, wat geskep is om autisme te verduidelik en oor die NFT project om geld in te samel om die bewusmaking te bemachtig. Good morning, Michael. Morning, morning, how are you? Surviving, thank you very much. Michael, tell us more about Sam the Hedgehog, the movie. So, Sam the Hedgehog is an animated short film. It's about a hedgehog raised among sheep, and it spreads the message that people with autism aren't there to be fixed, but they should rather be celebrated, accepted, and valued for who they are. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, speaking about uh, valued, uh, you've got a lovely, is that a digital backdrop or are you spending time <laughs> on the Zambezi? This, this, is, this is genuine. Um, yeah, we're, uh, I'm on a working holiday in the Eastern Cape at the moment, so not a bad way to start the morning. Lovely, lovely, <laughs> lovely. Uh, Michael, the short film is about a hedgehog raised amongst sheep or among sheep. Uh, how did the story, you know, how did you decide on the, on the specific characters for this film? Yeah, so, you know, the, the, the film we've been working on actually for the last seven or eight years as a passion project on the side um, of our studio. And, and about seven years ago, my nephew was diagnosed with, with autism. Um, and it was, quite a, it was quite a journey for the wider family to go on. And around the same time, we came up with, we were, we were looking for a story to tell in our studio. And we came up with this idea of, of an autistic hedgehog. And we thought that's a great metaphor because, you know, he bunches up into a ball. He takes fright easily. He's a little bit quickly on the outside, but really soft and cuddly on the inside. Um, and we thought that was a great metaphor for, for a child with autism. And, and a friend of ours loved the, the, the character so much. She asked if she could write a script for it. And next thing, she came up with the idea of, like, neurotypical people being represented by sheep. Um, you know, sheep uh, are kind of emblematic of, of people that all just, you know, want to do the same thing. Um, and, uh, and it kind of built on from there. And the, the story has grown and grown and grown. And uh, we've now created this whole world uh, around them. Uh, you refer to the fact that you have a nephew that's autistic. Um, I'm in exactly the same position. Tell me more about the family. You spoke about the family, uh, the effect it had on a family, uh, especially uh, when you don't expect that to happen to your family. It's a, it's a, distant, it's a distant issue that, that, that won't reach home. And here it is in the family. Expl explain to us what that does to a family, to the awareness. Yeah, so, you know, it can be a very traumatic time. There's a lot of stigma around autism. There's a lot of misunderstanding. And, you know, initially, um, I remember the, the moment when my nephew was diagnosed and his parents were told, you know, your, your son might never finish high school, he'll never go to university. And, and suddenly all these, these dreams, you know, these sort of expectations you have for your child are, are all just gone. Um, and, and that can be really traumatic. Um, uh, but... It doesn't necessarily have to be a traumatic uh, situation. Um, it's just about understanding. And autism isn't a disease. It's it's not a death sentence. It's just a uh, you know a brain that's wired differently and processes the world differently. Um, and if you have the right understanding and the right help, um, you can make incredible progress. And today, my nephew is sitting in a normal mainstream school. He's got support in that environment. Um, so, you know, through this experience, that's, we came to realize that actually the story we're telling is not the story of Sam the Hedgehog. The story we're telling is of Mrs. Mouton, Sam's mother, and mm. her journey through this, where she goes from, you know, completely uh, in complete denial of the fact that her son is a hedgehog and she tries to clip his prickles and wash them with extra conditioner to make them soft as she wraps him up in in woolen mittens and woolen scarves to try and make him into the perfect little sheep lamb and uh, send him off to the perfect sheep school. And during the course of the film, she goes through this journey where she realizes, no, he actually is a hedgehog. She's initially devastated by that fact, but then comes around to really value him for the fact that he is a hedgehog and see and, and love him for that. And she would never then change anything for the world. Um, so, and, and, you know, that mirrors kind of our journey uh, as a family as well.
Mm. So from a more personal perspective, what would you like to achieve uh, with this short film? Well, <laughs> autism acceptance really is, is the main goal. And I'm a real believer in the power of storytelling. Um, so this little short film is a story. We don't even mention autism in the, in the film. Uh, it's a story and we hope that that'll... Uh, be useful for for people that have autistic people around them in their lives, you know, maybe kids at school that have an autistic kid in the class, just to help them as a tool to understand better what it is and what they're dealing with and how to uh, respond to people. Um, and then, of course, you know, as a studio, we, we're just really excited about uh, creating an original animated short film that's proudly South African, that's all produced here, and that we hope will stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with with any animated, uh, uh, you know, film from uh, the rest of the world. Yes, because there is the perception that people see kids with, with autism and they go, that's just a naughty kid, but it's not the case. But <laughs> nonetheless, uh, exactly. the film needs to be funded in some way uh, for, this, for, for it to be finished. Um, and there's an NFT project uh, where people can buy NFTs. What in the name, what is NFT? <laughs> you know, that is a fantastic question. And to be honest, I'm still figuring that out myself. <laughs> it's a non-fungible token that is sold on the blockchain. So you pay uh, Ethereum for it. Um, basically, what it boils down to is it's a digital artwork that uh, is, is sold on the blockchain. And it's a whole new world. There's a whole new marketplace that has sprung up overnight around these digital artworks um and so we we decided you know we've got the these characters we've got all the sets we've built miniature sets for the film we've got all these assets let's make an nft collection and sell them uh in this market and and uh we're hoping uh we're really hoping that um to pioneer a new way to to not only fund uh good causes, but also to fund original animation, uh, which is uh, very difficult to do in South Africa. So, um, so we're super excited about it. The collection is 8,128 individual um, unique artworks of Sam the Hedgehog. They're little JPEGs with different props and different arm shapes, all randomly generated. Um, and they kind of become like a set of digital playing cards that people can then trade um, and collect. Um, and they're going to be minted, as we say, uh, basically sold on the blockchain uh, from the 2nd of April through the month of April, which is uh, World Autism Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. uh, the Heiji Fund. But now I would also okay. like to, to get to, uh, you know, the spread of awareness. Uh, do you think there's a need to become more creative in order to get this done? Absolutely. You know, that's where I come back to, um, you know, my belief that good storytelling is so powerful because you can go to people and, you know, preach to them, explain things. You could do an educational drive, but nothing is more powerful than a story that captivates people. Um, and that's really what we're hoping to do with this with this film. Mm -hmm. So if I if I believe in the cause and I want to contribute to the finan finance of this movie um, and I feel like I have a couple of bucks to give, what do I do? How do I get hold of an NFT? <laughs> Very good question. So the barrier to entry to NFTs is, you know, is substantial. It's not the easiest thing to get into if you're not already in crypto. Um, but if you're, if you're keen to do that, visit the hedgy.fund, find all the information there, the links will be there to go in and mint an NFT. Um, if you're a bit more old school like me and don't understand how all these crypto or what what work, then you can also visit spamthehedgehog.com uh, and we've got banking details and PayPal details up there for people that would like to just donate directly to the project. Ah, uh, so samthehedgehog.com. That's, that's what yeah. our old people should go and look at.
Absolutely. And we'd love if you could follow us on Facebook, on Twitter especially. We're trying to grow our Twitter following at the moment because that's where all the, the crypto nerds are. So if anybody could follow us at Twitter on hedgy underscore fund, that would be great. Thank you very much, Michael, for joining us this morning to talk about Sam the Hedgehog, the movie. And uh, good luck in the Eastern Cape with your terrible day job. Bye-bye, <laughs> donkey. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Nou ja, dit was dan Michael Clark van Maan Creative, om te gesels oor Sam the Hedgehog, uh, ter viering natuurlijk van 2 april Wereldbewusmakingsdag. Hier is so a klein bykie van de voorsmakie van hoe die film blijkt. This is the story of a kid named Sam. He was great with numbers and puzzles and facts, but he had some trouble with fitting in. Ik denk ons allemaal voel op een manier zo'n bikkie zoals Sam de Hedgehog. Nee, nou ja.